Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to be installing the cable management for all my networking cables for the rack. So this will basically nicely organize all the ethernet cables, all the ohm 3 fiber optic cables, and all the SFP DAC cables between the switches and networking gear. So these will go in between uh, the three switches I have and the PFSense router. So I need three of them. These are just little 1U uh, StarTech CMD UCT 1UX. So CM Duct 1X. And these have nice fingers on them. You can route uh, networking cables between them. So we'll go ahead and unbox this and then we're gonna install these into the rack. Oh, and before we install them, I'll let you guys know the price tag of these. These were $40 a pop. However, you can pick them up on eBay generally between the 20 to 30 dollar range of pop if you're lucky if the seller has a lot of them they're looking to get rid of them you can make an offer you can get them for 15 dollars a pop however i wasn't able to find any on ebay at the time and i do need them so i got these directly from new egg for 40 a pop so i kind of got highway robbery on this one but uh you know i need them so i'm like well i gotta have them you know So guys, not much to it. That's what they look like. Unlike my Microtik gear, they did include cage nuts and cage screws. They're silver. I wish uh, they would have been black. So come on, StarTech. However, these have a front cover. So I don't know how well you guys can see on camera, but these have a cover that can cover up once you route your cables. So you most likely won't see them. However, I did get cage nuts and cage screws with my trip light um, server rack. So I'll be using those ones instead because they are black. So it will just look cleaner. Um, but it is nice that they actually uh, included cage nuts and cage screws. So good job, uh, StarTech, on that one. Now, the, the dimensions on this, the, the uh, width depth and height is 482 by 61 by 47 millimeters. So these are going to stick out from the rack when you install them. So you're going to want to, uh, before you buy them, you're going to want to make sure the depth of your uh, front uh, bars are in deep enough to where you'll be able to close your door on your rack if your rack has a door or anything like that. So before you just willy-nilly go out and buy stuff, make sure you take the proper measurements you need, adjust your rails and your rack, whatever you have to do. I had to adjust mine because I believe these are like a like a two inch, inch depth. And actually, why don't I measure it while I'm here? You know what I'm saying? We'll see what we got going on here. So yeah, you're, you're looking at roughly two and a half inches. Okay? So you'll want to measure... Uh, 
what kind of depth you got going on with your uh, front rails on your rack to make sure that they'll fit. So I'll take this out, I'll take this front cover off so you guys can see what that looks like. Like I said, this has a front face plate that snaps on and off so you guys can easily route the cables and then cover it up. It's a really clean look. So I, get, I don't know how well you guys can see that on camera. Okay, I have to keep checking my angle. You have this front face plate that goes on the front like that. Then you have the cable management bar. See how what it's like? It's just these little fingers. You route cables between it. That's really all there is to it, guys. So this will obviously be the top because you want to hide the barcodes, right? It just has the, the model on it. CM Duct 1 UX. It's, and these, uh, these mount, if you guys look at the mounting, you also have holes out the back so if you want to route them out the back which is what I'm going to do nice and clean right very nice and clean but you'll see that these are center hole mounted and there are some StarTech server racks that only have the screws at the top and the bottom which is so stupid of StarTech however my trip light server rack has all three, so these will be able to mount into my triplay. However, if you have a StarTech server rack, these StarTech brackets might not might not work in it. <laughs> it's so fucking hilarious, right? So, but like I said, my triplay one has all three, so these will mount. Just just be cautious; these mount via the center holes. So, if your server uh, rack doesn't have center hole mounts available, well, <laughs> you're kind of fucked. Um, but yeah, so enough talking about them. I'll go ahead and uh, you want to pop the cover off first so you can be able to install them. And then I'm going to go ahead and install them. So I got three covers off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get six cage nuts and cage, cage screws. So as you guys can see, I went and got three cage nuts, cage screws, and the washers. Okay. And I used the ones with my uh, trip light rack because they are uh black <laughs> the ones that come with the uh the cable management here these cable management brackets are silver so that was kind of a stupid uh oversight by uh StarTech there but uh okay we'll go ahead and uh read us the camera and mount them Okay, so the first thing I gotta do is I have to install the cage nuts, okay? So these cable management bracket arms are gonna go in 21, 19, and 17, okay? And I have my uh, layout of the server rack so I can verify that before I install the cage nuts. But um, these cage nuts will go into the center holes for each one of these and then they'll install.
Okay, so there we go, the cage nuts have been installed. It's definitely a little bit trickier when you have gear in between. It's kind of blocking your, your access there to get your hand in there and around it. So I got these installed in 21, 19, and 17 into the center holes. We're gonna go ahead and now install these cable management brackets. So guys, there's the first one installed. And am I able to still close the door all the way? Yes, I am. That's very important, guys, very important. So let's go ahead and install the other two. So guys, there we go. The cable management brackets have been installed. That's what they look like. I'll give you guys a different angle here so you guys can see um, closer and a little bit better. But uh, they go on pretty nice and easy. We'll also close the door and make sure that it fits. Yep. 
So that's a close-up view. You guys can see all the fingers sticking out. It makes it very nice to cable manage. There's another view. You guys can see. PF sensor router will go right here in unit 22. We'll be able to go right down through. these. The covers will go on, so you guys won't even see all the different fingers, but very nice. Came out pretty clean. So I'll go ahead and uh, install the front brackets now. There we go, front brackets have been installed. I'll give you guys a nice front view to show you what that looks like with the front brackets installed. So, not sure how well that shows up on camera, but hope you guys can see it all right. That is what it will look like with the cable management brackets on, the front ones. And uh, that will pretty much wrap up this rack installation for these cable management ducts. Thanks for watching, guys.